Good evening, everyone, and welcome to uh, another video. This one's going to be relatively short, uh, but I ran across this role, and I want to point something out about it, only because um, there are a lot of roles out there that obviously are fake. Uh, as a result of that, some people don't know how to spot fake roles, spot original regular roles, how do you do what. Some roles have, you know, printing on them as to what bank they're from, i.e. this one, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh branch of the Federal Reserve Bank of Cleveland. How do you know if this is actually a, a real role, if it's a regular wrapped role, if it's somebody who's actually got a hold of a stamp and stamped something like that on there? So I'm going to point something out here when you're looking at roles that is relatively important. And this is a roll of 1944P, I believe. Um, it's actually in really good shape. Let's take a look. Yeah, 44P. It's actually in really good shape. Um, I've adjusted the color on my camera a little bit. Um, and the reason for it is uh, I've also adjusted the contrast. Um, if you look at the printing on this roll, it says FRB of New York. It's kind of hard to see, but it's there. Federal Reserve Bank of New York. 50 pennies, uh, which is quite hilarious, actually, because the United States Mint has never made a penny. It's always been since. Uh, anyway, uh, with that being said, I want to point a couple of things out about this. So this roll is an actual original wrapped roll. Even though these letters and stuff like that are somewhat hard to read, uh, over the course of time, obviously, things wear off. This roll has actually been cared for quite well. The wrapper is in really good shape. Uh, both ends, this one is, is nice and tightly wrapped. The other end is plugged uh, from that standpoint. So you can see the tightly wrapped portion there. You can see the plugged portion there. Um, and plugged rolls, by the way, are almost impossible to um, fake from that standpoint. And the reason for that is that little piece of wrapper, cardboard wrapper that's in there is actually tucked up under the wrapping around the the roll itself so when you go to unwrap this roll it's not just a plug that's in there that's on top of the coin it actually is part of the wrapper so it's it's an extremely difficult uh, roll to be able to fake obviously I suppose you could get into one end of it if you wanted to but then to try and rewrap it like this would be next to impossible to do um, and you know, this coin is nice and bright and shiny on the end. Um, it doesn't have any wear. This is kind of rare for a roll. You don't usually see too many coins that are actually this old that are this nice and bright and shiny. But this coin matches the wrapper. In other words, the wrapper is in really pristine condition and it's an original wrapper and I'm going to explain why in a second. But on top of that, this coin is actually in really pristine shape. So this roll was very, very well cared for for its entire life wherever it sat around. So how do I know this is an original wrapper? Well, if you look really, really closely, I'll point this out. Um, actually, I've got to put my glasses on to do this. Getting old, that's the way it happens. Um, if you look really close, you'll notice that at the bottom of these letters, the ink, the printer that printed it, is somewhat dark um, and if you roll the wrapper around all at the bottom of like the inside of the zero for 50 the top of the five the inside of the five even the bottoms of all of the letters um, all have a dark spot to them uh, from that standpoint even the manufacturer's name of the wrapper uh, which is Stately Company um, out of New York, um, is uh, the same way. So everything matches. So that means that this was actually run through a press uh, and not actually a stamp that was put on the roll after the fact. Um, since this wrapper has a diagonal seam to it, uh, it is a wrapper that would have originally been on a large roll of wrappers that go on the wrapping machine. Remember last night uh, I did a video 
uh, about uh, the straight seams on things and the sealed seams on things and how those are not what we would consider bank wrappers, but more along the lines of residential type wrappers, people that can buy them at local stores, the tubes that you can, I, I've got one here as a matter of fact, let me just pull it out and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. There you go. Here's an example of something like that. So this is an example of a tube that has a straight seam to it that is glued and, and or taped or you know some sort of an adhesive to it where you open the tube on one end, slide the coins in, crimp it on the other end, and if you've got a, a wrapping tool from that standpoint, you can actually wrap these and make them look like they're actually crimped, although that they're not. But that's a first dead giveaway is that uh, little seam, straight seam there. So on a regular bank wrapped wrapper, you won't see that. It'll be some sort of a diagonal or it will be a V-shape like the Batdorf wrappers. So pay close attention to the printing on um, your rolls when you're looking at them to actually see what they look like. Uh, see whether or not the uh, printing matches, uh, the printing for the bank actually matches the same printing for the uh, uh, number of coins, whether it be nickels, dimes, whatever the case might be, um, it should all match. You shouldn't have something that's darker or lighter than the other from that standpoint. Here's another one right here. This is a Federal Reserve Bank uh, of St. Louis. You'll notice that the printing here matches very much the printing being darker and lighter and darker and lighter. It matches the printing on the rest of the wrapper as well. So that means that these were all printed on a printing press and not actually just stamped from that standpoint. It's amazing what you notice uh, when you look hard enough, but believe it or not, now go to eBay and start looking up OBW rolls and you will notice that there are an incredible amount of them that are actually stamped rather than actually printing pressed. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys uh, learned a little bit and uh, I'll do another one uh, a little later.